What's up everyone and welcome back to Just The Gamer you have been waiting for. And we are here with Capcom Showcase Live, starting in about 20 seconds. Now for those of you who don't know, which is the reason why I'm in the bathroom recording this, is my girlfriend's got COVID, so me and my son are in the living room. So, oh my god, here we go. So that's the reason why I'm recording in the bathroom. Eight seconds, here we go boys, what are we going to see? Are you ready? I don't know what it is. And now we have a bunch of updates from the Resident Evil franchise. A bunch of updates, fuck yes. Here we go, guys. Hello everyone, oh, I'm Satoshi Konda, the producer of Resident Evil Ooh. Village. Thanks to all of our fans, Village has sold over 6 million units worldwide. DLC. Everyone on the team is incredibly happy to see so many people enjoy the game. Thank you for your support. The Resident okay. Evil series continues to bring fun experiences to people around the world. We want longtime fans and people who are new to Resident Evil to enjoy this storied franchise. Right. Let's start with this video. Oh shit, is this going to be DLC? Oh my god, is this DLC? The fuck? Ooh. Rose. It's alright, Rose. It's alright. Oh, is it gonna be continuation? Does that mean they finished the DLC now? Even Chris doesn't know I can do. I want to live a normal life. She's in your death. Ew, something just moved on her hand. Shut up. She's gone back to it. It was destroyed. Shadows of Rose, the Duke's evil. What the fuck? New content comes to the mess as well. Marking the target. And it actually plays other cards. What next? Oh my god. You can play as Heisenberg and Lady D in the mercenaries. Ethan returns in third person. Oh wow! How the fuck have they done that? How have they done all this in a year? Gold edition. Obviously, they were going to do the gold edition. Winter expansion and reverse. Twenty eighth of October. Get the fuck in there. Sorry to keep. That you looks waiting. amazing. We're happy to reveal the DLC for Resident Evil Village we promised yes. last June. We think this new experience will be worth the wait. Hell yes. This DLC includes three major features. First, the third person mode. Many people asked for this, and we were able to add it into the game. Now, you'll be able to see Ethan as he desperately fights for survival. Players that have already experienced Ethan's journey can enjoy the new perspective and animations too. The Mercenaries Brilliant. returns with additional orders in an arcade-style action game where focus has been put on the exhilarating feeling of defeating relentless hordes of enemies. New stages are included, as well as additional playable characters, such as Chris Redfield and Heisenberg. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu will be there too. We've really fueled this mode up. Enjoy looking down on your foes from over nine feet above as Lady Dimitrescu slashes her enemies aside. The third edition is one you've surely been waiting for. An additional story, Shadows of Rose. Today, let me introduce just a bit of this story. 
Rose, the beloved daughter of the main protagonist, Ethan, is now a grown-up main character in this new story mode. In this sequel to the main story of Village, you can experience Rose's struggles with the terrifying powers she was born with. To break free of the curse of her powers, she enters the consciousness of the Mega Mycete. There, she meets a girl who looks just like her. In this mysterious realm of consciousness, time and space is warped beyond recognition. Rose is guided by a being who calls himself Michael, who might be of assistance with removing her powers. Shadows of Rose is set completely in a third-person perspective. In the realm of consciousness, you won't only face creatures, but the world itself seems to be attacking you. Enjoy the horror of the world itself being your greatest enemy. Yeah. How will Rose find freedom from her mysterious powers? The DLC for Resident Evil Village Winter's Expansion includes all three of these major additions. In addition, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition, a bundle of Winter's Expansion with the base game, will be released simultaneously. The Is it the whole DLC free? October 28th, 2022. Resident Evil RE-verse will also begin service on the same date, October 28th, 2022. We hope that you are looking forward to it. But is it all free? Like it was supposed to be. Like that? Should be. Also, as already announced, we are working on making <clears throat> the main story of Village available on Mac so that even more people can enjoy Resident Evil. In addition, the main story of Village is planned to be playable on PlayStation VR 2. We are working hard on bringing you the ultimate immersive experience worthy of next gen in Resident Evil Village. So look forward to future announcements. <clears throat> Hell yes. Up next, Looks amazing. A game that was announced just a few days ago. RE4. Show us the merchant. <clears throat> Come on. Actual trailer. Come on. It's my favourite game of all time. Of course I'm excited to get a remake. I'm turning this up. What else can you show us? Come on. Resident Evil 4. Come on, we've already seen that bit. Don't waste time. Gondor Wonder Roost. I've located Baby Eagle. We've seen all this. Show us something new, come on. Show us the merchant. We've, they're showing us the same teaser. Dirty bastards. Spot to vacation, eh? Why are they showing the same thing? They don't want to spoil anything. <clears throat> I don't mind. Spoil it a little. Receive our most sacred body. It begins now. Lord Sadler. We've seen that already, man. Why show us the same thing? If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. <clears throat> this time, it can be different. It has to. Okay, the model looks good. That's the only thing new we get, is to see him in, in full face. Hi everyone, Dirty bastards. I'm Yasuhiro Anpo, director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4, based on the original okay. 2005 release. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special, while updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Today, We'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. 
Resident Evil 4 is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. The cool. experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. In order to truly bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Let's take a closer look at the game itself. Yes, please. The over-the-shoulder camera the returns, of course. Nice. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Look forward to future announcements, where we'll have more yeah. information on the game. Resident Evil 4 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Series S, and PC. The release date will be March 24th, 2023. Cool. We are aiming to create a Resident Evil 4 that everyone can enjoy, so please look forward to it. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you so, so much. much. <coughs> Didn't get too much, but... Oh. Super excited. Third person over the shoulder. Brilliant. Fucking like it. What did you think about the latest information on Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 4? Good. Both games are currently in development. For those that can't wait for the release, check out the following games. Next gen upgrades. When are they coming? Come on, please say it soon. Please say it soon. You said if you can't wait until the new games. So this is coming between now and August. Oh, well, mate. It looks even better somehow. <clears throat> Except for the lagging. Showing off the ray trace and the lighting. I'm excited about all of that and adaptive triggers and all that shit. Please be releasing soon. What when? Resident Son of Evil a bitch. 7, which brought the series back to its survival horror roots and the reimagining of classic titles Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. These three titles, built with RE Engine, return with current gen features including support for 4K, high frame yes. rate, and yes. ray tracing. Yes. As well as 3D audio for an even yes. more immersive experience. These titles are available for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and Series S beginning today. In addition, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players can enjoy a free digital upgrade to current gen via the digital upgrade program and smart delivery. Fucking today. For PC users, an update patch will be available on the same date. For newcomers and veterans of survival horror alike, we hope you enjoy the immersion these new versions offer. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the Fuck family. yes. Today. That's all for today's announcements. Thank you. Fucking thank you. Holy shit. If you're that a Resident Evil fan, show. you're fucking we eating this year. Excited as we and are next year. Some of our upcoming games. Thank you to everyone, new and old fans alike, for tuning in. We look forward to sharing more updates with you soon.
They went over, it was 36 minutes long. Oh my God. Well, there we go guys, holy shit. Okay, so we saw a little bit, a tiny bit more of our E4 remake, which looks, it just, it still looks incredible. I can't wait to see more on that, which they're not gonna start showing us a lot of that until <clears throat> after October, so November onwards, they'll start showing us more of RE4. Can't wait for that. And then we've got the Village DLC announcement, Gold Edition. You can play in third um, third person mode as Ethan through the main game, fuck yes. That should be a lot of fun, different experience. Um, a sequel DLC as Rose, trying to get rid of her powers. So she enter, enters the consciousness of the Mega My Seat. Interesting. I thought, I always said that I think that they, they, they might do a sequel to it, but then they have to include like Heisenberg and Lady D because otherwise, otherwise what's the point? They're, they're you know, quite important and popular characters, but they are included in the extra mercenaries modes as well as Chris, which is insane. And then to top it all off, RE2 Remake, 3 Remake and 7, Next Gen Upgrade, available today. Holy shit, guys. Oh my god, why is it Monday? I don't stream till Friday. Damn it. <laughs> well, I'm going to get them downloaded and updated and everything, ready. Um, and then I'll either start with 7 or 2, as soon as I can. Damn, super pumped, super excited. It is a great fucking time to be an RE fan. Holy shit, guys, that's it for this one. Let me know what you think about everything that was announced from, um, well, for Resident Evil. Jesus Christ. Smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe below if you haven't already to stay up to date with all future updates with gaming and horror and Capcom. And yeah, don't forget you can check my Twitter in the description below. Um, and over there you will find a tweet about a giveaway I'm doing. I'm giving away one copy of Resident Evil 4 Remake. The giveaway ends New Year's Eve. So, yeah, go over there and you can see how you can enter. There's up to five entries per person. And yeah, that's that for this one, guys. Super pumped and fingers crossed COVID has fucked off so I can stream on Friday. But I'll keep you posted, guys. But until then. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.